It's Tuesday trend day again, and I got 10 more hand-picked red bubble trends for you for this week, the last week of July, 2021. All of these trends have image boards, and I'm checking BSRs on Amazon to see if they're selling there. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. If that's something you wanna learn how to do, if you wanna follow my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, I'm doing it again, 10 more Redbubble trends. You know I handpicked these. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll put it right here. It takes me a long time, but I do it for you guys so that you can have the best, what I think are the best trends on Redbubble right now. These are trends with low competition, so I'm usually picking those, and trends that have sold on Amazon, so at least we know people are looking for them. So um, if you wanna learn more about that, again, watch that video. There's a lot to see in this video. Of course, I have 10 trends. You're gonna to wanna to stay till the end to see all 10 trends. I put it in a nice list for you so that you can see it and have your to-do list for the week. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end for an extra special bonus trend. That's my trend credits at the very end of this video where I look on Amazon to see what is trending right now and give you a sneak peek at that too. So a uh, lots to see in this video. Typically, this video is one of my longer videos, so let's just get into it right now. So for my first trend, trend number one, I found you this, Roaring Into Preschool. Only 906 results, and I know that's a little high, but this one's really good. Uh, kind of saturated, but I'll show you the BSRs on Amazon in a little bit. Just take a look at this best-selling. You can see a lot of them very similar with the dinosaurs. Um, preschoolers love dinosaurs, so this is doing well. You got... Uh, this one a little different with a lion here, but mostly dinosaurs or just text, right? Uh, let's take a look at Amazon. You can see it's pretty saturated, yes, but take a look at these BSRs though. Wow, super low BSR. So if you can get up here on the first page, maybe very difficult, but if your design is something that people love, you know, you could get some of these sales. People are looking for these right now. This is trending right now. This is selling right now. So. Um, get into this one. Here is the image board that I made for you, Roaring Into Preschool. Use these product tags on Redbubble. There's some other ideas you can do. There's lots of back to school ideas, lots of dinosaur stuff, lots of preschool things, right? Lots of preschool phrases for back to school. Um, and there's different ways you can do dinosaurs. You got silhouettes, you got, you know, a little roar or a giant roar. I also put different animals on here that you can use for your t-shirts. You got lions, you got tigers, you got bears. So um, take a look at all of these, use these, make sure that yours is different and make sure that yours is something that preschoolers actually wanna wear. Uh, tough competition out there, but if you can do it, if you can design something special, if, if you can design something that's better than what's out there, I think you can make a lot of sales on this one. So I wanted to put this one in for you. This is trend number one, roaring into preschool. So for trend number two, I found this on Redbubble. It says diabetes. So you can see here's only 646 results and these are the best selling. Usually this shirt has uh, this man on here. His name's Wilford, let me see, Wilford Brimley right here. I think he did some commercials for diabetes and stuff. And so this became a meme a long time ago. Um, so uh, this is just, I think the, the accent that he has or the funny way that he says it. So he's often associated with this. Do not use this picture of him, but you could draw something similar, like someone with a mustache, maybe a cat with a mustache or a dog with a mustache. You know, that mustache is kind of iconic. So I think people will get the joke still. Um, take a look at these. Take a look at Amazon right here. You can see him again. Don't, again, don't use him, but you can see other ways to do it right here. There's, it's not his face. It's just that white iconic mustache, right? So, um, the sales, the BSR is not as low as the Roaring into Kindergarten, but you can see it has made sales before. This could make a funny um, gift for Christmas or something like that. So take a look at that and take a look at my image boards here. So here it is, uh, product tags. There's a lot of different things that you could do with this uh, medical humor. So you can see, I'm not saying use Spider-Man, but you can see this meme right here where they use that white mustache. Uh, on this cat, on Spider-Man and things like that. So think of different ways, you know, you could draw a cartoon version of them or something like that, but I would kind of use that idea and, but not his face, right? 
and and of course you can do some other funny diabetes t-shirts and stuff so so think about something funny that you can put on a t-shirt that relates to this tag and this is your trend number two for this video diabetes so for trend number three i found this for you guys I try not to laugh at my own jokes. Only 596 results, and these are the best selling. So you can see it's mostly text. A lot of these have text on here. Some of them have graphics. I think if you put and incorporate some graphics in here, you probably could stand out a lot better. Um, take a look at that. And on Amazon, take a look at this, mostly text as well. You can see here. Um, the BSRs, I mean, some of them, this one's kind of low, but and that one is too. So, so some of them are selling really well, but most of them, are kind of maybe they sold a while ago so um, you can see that it does have sales though there so there is an audience for this take a look at my image board here here are my product tags um, of course there's lots of funny sayings that you can do lots of different puns as far as graphics there's lots of different funny faces that you could use here um, and do things like this so try and put your text i know this is a lot of text so try and put your text in a nice way an interesting way you can do it you know by doing arches or um, bigger or smaller words or just, you know, kind of doodle, doodle, I call this like doodle graphics, right? With banners and things like that. So think of different ways to make your design interesting and stand out and make it better than what's already out there. Uh, this is your trend number three. I try not to laugh at my own jokes. So for trend number four, I found this for you emotionally unavailable only 517 results and take a look at these best-selling very simple designs i think you can break out into here if you add some graphics mostly text so you can see very simple designs i think if you do something with a little more interest you can probably break into this one take a look at amazon right here again mostly text but this one they tried to do something here take a look at these bsrs they're not the lowest BSRs, but you know that they've, they've sold before. That's why they have BSRs. So um, maybe selling later may not be trending right now, but I bet this will make a good gift, you know, in, in Q4. So think of that when you're doing it. Take a look at this image board. Here are some product tags you can use, um, some other ideas you can use, you know. And then here are some graphics um, that you can use. No emotions, right? I think of things that don't have emotions like a robot or maybe your face um, has this kind of emotionally unavailable kind of panicked attack or no heart, right? Things like that. So these are some ideas. Think about what it means to be emotionally unavailable and kind of use a graphic to represent that. So uh, have fun with this one. This is your trend number four, emotionally unavailable. So for trend number five, I found this for you guys. Pay me like a white man. Only 332 results, and these are the best selling right here. Again, these are mostly text, so I think you can break into this one if you have a nice graphic or make it interesting in some way. Take a look at these. Here it is. And take a look at Amazon. You can see um, some lower BSRs on this one. So you can see mostly text again too, so I think you can break into this one. Um, not as low as I would like to see. They probably were trending, you know, two, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, but I think there's still an audience for it because there's still some sales here. Take a look at this image board. Um, there's some product tags you can do. Of course, this is um, funny sayings, business sayings, money sayings, that kind of thing. So maybe put some money in there. I put the Monopoly guy here because he's a rich white man, but um, of course, don't use the Monopoly guy, right? But this is kind of the idea, maybe, you know, a monocle and some, a top hat or a tie or someone counting money. Um, there's lots of business icons you could use here to make yours kind of more interesting. So have fun with this one. This is your trend number five, pay me like a white man. So for trend number six, I found this love nurse life cheetah only 211 results and these are the best selling so take a look at these not all of them have the cheetah pattern in them but that's what i think that cheetah is for like a look there's one right there um, if you're going to put that tag in there you might as well have the cheetah pattern in here so some of them have the cheetah pattern right there some of them are just using the tag even though they don't have cheetah in it so uh, take a look at amazon I took the cheetah pattern out so you can see that there is a trend for love nurse life shirt, but it's super saturated. The nurse niche, uh, the doctor niche, the medical niche have been really saturated right now, but just take a look at these BSRs though. 
some low BSR. So you know there's an audience for this. If you can make yours stand out and make it better than what's on there and can get on page one, I think you'll get a shot. But uh, this is another one that's super saturated. Um, but you know, if you come up with something unique that people love, I think you, you can get a shot. There's lots of different ways to do this. I'll take a look at the image board here. I got a lot of tags for you to use. Typically they have this kind of, uh, you know, handwritten fonts and heartbeats and hearts and stethoscopes and things like that. Here's it using a pattern. Um, you can use the cheetah pattern in here or here or here, you know, lots of different places. So if you're going to use this tag, make sure to put a cheetah pattern in here somewhere. Otherwise it doesn't make sense. So uh, this is your trend number six, love nurse life cheetah. So for trend number seven, I found this. I'm not lost, I'm exploring only 192 results and these are the best selling. So of course this is about travel, this is about outdoors, that kind of thing. So take a look at this, um, airplanes and vans and things like that. Uh, mountains, exploring, kayaking, right? So take a look at this on Amazon. Um, you got a lot of outdoor stuff as well. Take a look at these BSRs. I mean, they're not super low, but they're you know, they are selling, they have been selling. I think they'll do really well. They probably did really well at the beginning of the summer when people are, were actually exploring. So take a look at this. Um, here are some images on the image board that you could use or, you know, something like these and the product tags and other ideas. So have fun with this one. This one is about exploring outdoors, hiking, camping, that kind of thing. So have fun with this one. This is trend number seven. I'm not lost, I'm exploring. So for trend number eight, I found this on Redbubble, Oi with the Poodles. So 191 results and these are the best selling. So you can see, of course, Poodles will be part of the design here. Sometimes it's just text. So take a look at these. Um, I would put a Poodle in there personally because it, there's not a lot of words in there, kind of sell it. Here is uh, Amazon, take a look at these. Um, Oi with the Poodles, not, not too bad, not saturated here. Take a look at the um, BSRs. Uh, the BSRs aren't that low, honestly, um, but they have an audience for it. They, they've sold before, so this may be one of those um, designs that sell in Q4, you know, for this audience again that um, may want to buy it. So take a look at this image board. Here's some product tags you can use. I think this is a Jewish thing, or at least Oi, maybe. Um, don't quote me on that, but th there's some other funny Jewish sayings that you could use instead of this. So of a dog designs, poodle designs as well. So here are some ideas for graphics for poodles, lots of different ways to do it. So this is your trend number eight, Oi with the poodles. So for trend number nine, I found this, no cookies, just cocktails, only 122 results. And these are the best selling right here. So this is relating to Santa, right? Don't leave, I guess Santa saying, don't leave me cookies, leave me cocktails, right? So you can see it's about Santa drinking in the summer. Um, you can see having fun right here. No cookies, just cocktails. So take a look on Amazon here. Of course, Santa again, no cookies, just cocktails. Uh, the BSRs are a little higher than I would like, but you can see there's some of them. This one's doing really well. Um, take a look at some of these. So, I mean, there are people that are buying these. So, you know, there's an audience for it. Um, this probably will get a lot more sales as we get closer and closer to Christmas because, of course, with Santa on there. So take a look at these. Um, take a look at this image board as well. No cookies, just cocktails. Of course, your product tags, funny Christmas designs, you know, Christmas in July stuff. Uh, again, Santa with some kind of drink, some kind of cocktail here, maybe no cookies, that kind of thing. So, so this is your trend number nine, no cookies, just cocktails. So for trend number 10, the last trend for this video, I found this only 43 results, so super low. This is Wallen Paul Pack, and I didn't know what this was. Um, it is a lake in Pennsylvania, so this is lake life stuff, you know. So take a look at this, best selling. You can see Wallen Paul Pack, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's the shape of the lake right there. So take a look at this. Lots of fun stuff on the lake. Um, you can see here only 214 results on Amazon as well. Take a look at these BSRs. I mean, not super low, um, but you can see there is an audience for it. People love going to Lake Wallenpaltak to uh, 
to do their stuff, their lake stuff, boating, I'm guessing, and kayaking and all, all kinds of fun stuff you can see. So uh, on my image board, you'll see a lot of these with the lake, but also like lake life stuff, right? Just, you know, you could do a generic thing like you, like here with the Lake Tahoe, you could do Lake Wall and Pow Pack on here and that kind of stuff. So have fun with this one. This is your trend number 10, Wall and Pow Pack. So here they are. These are all the 10 trends in this video, just in a nice list for you. You can take a snapshot for these right here. Use it as your to-do list for the week. Um, some good ones right here. So, you know, it's tough. There's not a lot of them that are, that I would say are, are trending right now. I think there are maybe a couple of them, um, but uh, have fun with these. Um, which one would I do if I were you guys to do first? Um, wow. This is tough. Um, I would probably do emotionally unavailable. That seems like an easy one to do, mostly text. And I put a graphic in there and I think there were some low, low BSRs on that one. Um, let's see, what was another one? Um, diabetes could be fun just because it's a funny, funny saying. So have fun with this one. Let me know in the comments which one you would pick on here. But these are the 10 for this week. Of course, they change every week. So of course, you're going to have to come back next week to, to see it. the next 10 that I pick for next week. Thanks so much for staying all the way to the end. And your reward for staying to the end of this video is another trend, a trend on Amazon. And I call this my trend credits. Thanks for joining me for this trend credit. Here is your trend can't work today shirt. So take a look at these. There's a lot of different ways you could do these. Most of these have to do with fishing, but they don't have to be. Um, but you can see right here, can't work today. My arm is in a cast. Uh, my arm is in a cast. Let's see if there's some other ones. Um, mostly fishing. Arm is in a cast. I'm sure there's other ones. So this one says, I'm feeling a little under par. So this is a golf one. I think you could do one with video games. Uh, I haven't seen video games on here. That's why I'm suggesting it because it could um, be something different. Arm is in a cast. Arm is, well, arm is in the cast is, is doing really well. Uh, feeling a little under par again. Um, crappy, right? Uh, arm is in the cast. So, you know, come up with whatever it should be under here that you can come up with something different. You don't have to do arm is in the cast, but you could, but you can see it's pretty saturated with that right now. So if yours will have to be a lot better than these. Let's take a look on Merch Informer, can't work today. It's getting an A, so you know it's good. If you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description to Merch Informer where you can, you know, if you get it, you can check competition. There's graphics here, there's all kinds of cool stuff. So um, that is it on Merch Informer. Let's take a look at this trend one more time. Again, uh, heavily um, with fishing right here and super low BSR, so I think there's an audience for this one. I think this was a, a probably a gift for um, fathers and grandfathers on Father's Day, but it's still funny. It make a great gift too. So think about different ways that you can do this. Again, the trend is can't work today uh, and it's your job to figure out what you want to put at the bottom of these to make yours original and stand out. So have fun with this one. This trend can't work today shirt. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you. Got so many trends in this video. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already and you wanna see more of my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I got one right here in the corner for you, real easy to subscribe. So before I leave, I have a question of the day and the question of the day is this. Which of these 10 trends in this video would you wanna do first? Leave that in the comments. Um, that's a real easy one. I ask that all the time, but if you'd like to leave that in the comments, I told you which one I would like to do and I'd love to hear which one you would like to do and why. Why do you think that one's a good one to do? So thanks so much for watching this video. And if you want to see what to do with your trends and how to design t-shirts for it, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.